Jeez, Tom, do I really want you in my shot? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just want to heckle you. Yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, what are we? Saturday morning, February 17th. IOM's Region 8 Championship. D Fleet, first race of the day. So we head up wind. Stop hitting people, Gil. I'm up in my game, Jimmy. Nice. Got the monopod. Nice. Catch up to leaders. We come into the windward mark here. No idea what you're seeing because I'm running. That would be awesome. I would love to automate this process somehow. But I'm still somewhat manual. Let's see, Len Bowes with the new Super Tune on his boat. The K2, hidden from his wife for months. Finally came out of the closet with the boat. As we run upwind. Got Bruce Anderson in the 1-6 boat, all the way from Idaho, Bruce got a red boat, red truck, red socks, as he makes the turn first, as we tack into congestion corner. My teammate Jerry Brower on the outside there. The 42K2. 42K2. Got some crying kids over there. That's Bruce Anderson in the 1 6 boat. Coming in on port. Steve Ross in the 3-1 boat right behind him. Tacking in the zone, but making it clean. 5-9 boat, Bill, I believe. 1-6 boat, Len Bowes squeaking in there. Kim, forget Kim's name, on starboard, Gene. Gene Elliott coming in on port. Oh, and then the 6 8 boat. Larry Grant on incognito boat is not doing good, Larry. You need the make model sailing great again boat out here as we had downwind for the first time. Can we hire a young kid to do this? All right, back to the action after the slight reposition. Bruce Anderson, pride of Idaho, out here today. The 1-6, off to the races, light wind out of the west, which is good here. 
Don't listen to my heavy, out of breath breathing. Do you need See, some oxygen after that wind sprint? I do, I do. I, the heavy breathing on the film is a uh, good, good, good times. All right, this is D Fleet's top four. This is what you want to be. Which looks like uh, Bruce Anderson right now, Steve Ross, Kim in the 21 boat, representing the vintage class out here today. Yep. What kind of boat is it, Kim? It's a Stealth. Stealth. 1994. 94 Stealth, out there mixing up. It's going faster this morning. Yeah, at least you got off the line. <laughs> You got it in the water before the clock went off. All right, Bruce turns, heads back up wind. And the 5 9 boat, Bill. Forget Bill's last name. And the white 59. Generic label boat. Hopefully, the camera will be a little steadier today. I built a little monopod out of some scrap metal. My Mom's garage. So we had backup wind. Bruce in good position. Good pressure. Looks like he's going fast on the inside here. Bill's heading out to the reverse freeway on the far side where Bill ran aground yesterday. <laughs> Hopefully not today. Not today. Followed by Gil over the line early Jansky in third place, so not bad for third. He was over early, fouled somebody, and still managed to get to third. You're just showing off now, aren't you, Gil? Steve Ross in fourth place in the 3-1 fluorescent green. I can move. Oh, you're all right. I just kind of keep people from walking into that yeah, pole if yeah. I stand there. <laughs> I've hit it. <laughs> I think we all have. Yeah. There's Len Bowes who uh, does lots of advertising for Bose speakers, gets no money for it. <laughs> but he likes to promote anyways. So we had backup wind. Kim has to tack away. He's on port, try to sail a little more on starboard. Hold on while I... Race committee, Ben Reeves, there he is. It looks like that. All right, back to the action. It's post up. An angle you guys like. A little bit here, maybe. Uh, Bruce Anderson, Potato Warrior from Idaho. One six boat, Dan out of breath, Shire behind the camera. <laughs> nice glassy conditions here at the pond this morning. Bruce comes in on port, everybody's favorite tack for this windward mark. Heads to the offset. Looks like followed by Gil Jansky. The 4 1 Somtam. Number one Somtam in this fleet. Everybody coming in on port. There's Bill rounds in third in the 5 9 boat. Steve Ross in 3 1 for that final bump up. No pressure, Steve, but everybody else in the rest of the fleet is trying to pass you right now. Yeah, no stress. Relaxing sailing. Just breathe. And fifth place. Most likely to push Steve off the edge is Ron Longboard? Longboard? Long Langbird. Sorry, Ron. It's 
So we head back downwind. Ron left New York three weeks ago in a covered wagon to get here for some sailing. We're near here in San Diego. So we head back downwind. There's Bruce Anderson checked out. Test my powers of the zoom. Now I got the monopod, maybe I don't have to run as much. Gil Jansky, looks like he slipped back to third while Bill in the 5'9 boat got up to third. Steve couldn't take the pressure. Ross, the 3-1 just got passed by Ron. Held closely by Len Bowes. Len, get that head sail full. Sails flap and do something, Glenn. Len, power up. There we go, Kim. Sorry, Kim, I don't know your last name. The 2-1 boat. Uh, forget, just told me, but anyways, then, uh, Gene Elliott, the 7-8 boat, Jerry Brower in the 4-2, and Larry Stealth Mode Grant in the 6-8 boat over there. Only a couple hundred times a day. <laughs> All right, Bruce, running wire to wire here. As Bruce rounds the Lord Mark first, followed by Bill in the five nine boat. Gil Jansky in the 4 1 Som Tam. And the 7 0 boat. Uh, Ron Longbird. Langbird. On the inside. Steve Ross to the outside. And Bose to the inside. Kim Robbins. I believe it's the first name. Comes to the inside. So, looks like Steve is falling back a little bit. See if we can fight back on Ron. The uh, spectators. Got some spectator boats on the water, checking out the action. That seagull's paddling faster than we are. So we head back up wind. Only fell once yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't filming though, I was racing. There he is, whatever Bruce did last night seems to be working out. Might have might have involved sacrificing a goat, but boat's going faster. Looks like he's gonna win this deep fleet race handily. What design is that? Uh is it a Brit Pop, Bruce? It is. Brit Pop. It's an older that's the second Brit Pop in the country. If you guess Brit Pop in this fleet, I think there's 13 of them here today. So almost half the fleet's Brit Pops. There's Gil, I'm never over early Jansky coming in for second place. Pretty drastic recovery. That was a great catch. That's all right, it's got to be top four. Gil gets a second spot. Looks like Ron Langbird's gonna get the third spot. He was over early too. All those dirty cheaters sailing good. What's going on? Fast as fast, I guess. Yeah. 
It looks like Bill, forget Bill's last name, and the 5'9 boat's going to sneak in here for fourth. As that fourth spot shuffled quite a bit on the last leg. Good catch, Roy. Good catch. Roy, jeez, I kept calling him Ron. Roy. <laughs> you can also, he's also goes nice by Bill. the cat man. The cat man? Yeah. All right. I only screwed up his name about six times on that video, but... Len Bowes in the worst position ever. Fifth place in the D seat. But I guess it's better than dead last. You can't bump down out of D fleet, so that's a good thing. And the first place finisher in the vintage class, Ken Robbins, 21 boat. Jerry. Brower, these are our conditions. Drifting, light wind. Uh, I think there's some adjustments in Jerry's future on that uh, K2. First A fleet race of the day, Saturday morning, February 17th, 2024, Region 8 IOM Championship. All the hot shots in this race. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. General recall. Unbelievable. All right. Second start from A Fleet. Seconds. All right, sorry, I had to get my wind sock back on. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1-9 over, 1-9 clear. 5-5, protest, 1-6-2, 1-9 clear. Clear. Model sailboat racing. Oh, Stephen. Going the 2 8 boat, started at the far end of the line, had to tack offshore first, cross the whole fleet on port. Ooh, just merrily missing your bowl there. As we head up wind, Gary Winton. The green 54 V11 out of Melbourne, Florida. Here's a road warrior Vamway sailing many, many classes, driving his sprinter van cross country multiple times with his wife Sandy. Helps out in a lot of the races. Well, Dr. Dennis. Just, uh, making it a family affair. We're even on the Bud Light then, okay? A little payola going on here in the A fleet, but nothing to see here. So we come up wind for the first time. Looks like Gary went in 54 first. It's Gary Ball on the way outside. Craig Mackey, 29, white Brit Pop, he loves to call it Tabasco. Craig Mackey, one of the most decorated sailors out here in multiple classes in model boating, been sailing for years. Oceanside, California, a resident. As Gary went and tacks on to starboard to go around the windward mark, heading out to the offset. On this uh, first upwind leg, getting ready for some downwind. Eight one protest five six eight one protest five six. 
Thank you. We'll port starboard infraction there between Baron Bremer and Jess Atkins. Thank you, 56 five, six. Boat. <laughs> All right, a quick relocation. Still Gary Witt in the 5-4 boat out front. Followed by Craig Mackey in the 29 white boat. Gary Bowl right on his hip in the 71. Orange Racing, Brit Pup. British, British Orange. British Racing Orange. New color. For the British Racing Heritage. So we head downwind. Wind seems to be picking up a little bit. Looks like everybody's heading to the outside lure gate. Gary, V11, I'm fast upwind, Winton, rounds first, Gary shoots to the inside, trying to get some, maybe gain some advantage, it would be the hero, or the zero, probably the hero, we'll see, Gary will have to tack back into the fleet, do some maneuvering through the fleet, let's watch how Gary does that. Well, it's pretty easy. You just had to, just had to miss one boat. Well, it wasn't very exciting. Gary gained some height on that maneuver. Might have given up some distance for height. We'll see. The shiftiness pays off. Got the Dennis Rogers, the white 43 Brit Pop in fourth place, bouncing along. Tax. As Gary. Yeah, you're good. Right now. Gary and Craig try to chase down Mr. Winton, the green bomber from Melbourne, Florida. We got Dennis Rogers in fourth, Baron Bremer out of Florida also in the 81 gray boat. Fifth, that 131, Tony Gonzalez in the fancy yellow boat. Followed by our current leader as of first day, Steve Cohen in the 2-8 boat. Head back up wind. As the boys try to chase down Mr. Winton. Yeah, we're getting a little lift on the inside. Oh. Short lived. Short lived lift install here at Pond in San Diego. Beautiful Mission Bay. Some men in the 30s had the great vision of making this a model sailing pond. Construction was started in the 30s. Put on hold in the 40s for World War II. I think finished after that. Has been here ever since. So I think before they even had radio control, a lot of vein sailing, free sailing. Uh, so one of the only true purpose-built ponds built here in the US. It's been almost 100 years. Maybe it's time to build another one with some uh, improvements, modern improvements. So head back downwind. Still got Mr. Winton in first. Craig Mackey, the 29 
white Tabasco boat trying to hold off Gary Bowl to hang on to second place. That's Fred Iroka watches closely. So we've had downwind, got Dennis Rogers in the 43 boat in fourth. Tony Gonzalez in fifth. The 131 yellow boat. Stefan Cohen, the 28. The aqua pink. Get the 90s colors on the 28 boat. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. No, no, he called. He called. a little discussion of infractions between Tony and Stephen. Stephen defending himself well. Gary Wynn still chucked out. First, second, and third go the outside mark and fourth. Go the outside mark. Dennis Rogers, fourth place. Heading up through the fleet. As we head up to the finish line, let's double check on Mr. Winton. Yep, the 11 still motoring along. As a uh, the match racing race within the race between Craig Craig Mackey and the 2-9 Brit Pop, followed by Gary Bowl and the 7-1 Brit Pop, followed by Dennis Rogers and the 4-3 Brit Pop, followed by Stefan Cohen and then another Brit Pop. So we've got four Brit Pops in a row there. So we head back up when I think uh, Mr. Bremer. In the 81 boat, Eliath. So I think that's 3D printed boat, I believe. All right, let's get back to the leaders. See if anything's going to unfold here at the finish line. Head into the finish. Gary Winton, number 5-4 in first. 5-4. Battle for second right here. The battle the whole way. Mr. Mackey in the 2-9 boat. Gary Bull in the 7-1 boat. Squeaks him. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little redemption for this. Followed by Dennis Rogers in fourth place in the 4 3 Brit Pop. Followed by Stefan. Do I make it, Mark? Yeah. As uh, Tony Gonzalez coming in in fifth place. Jack Kingston. Two eight eight one five five. Nice job, Gary. Good race. No, you're good. One nine. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. General recall. Aye. General recall. General recall. General recall.
20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fleet 6A off and running. If you do it again, I'm going to start running. Yeah. Got Bill and the 59 boat out front trying to cover the whole fleet. Jerry Brower and the 42, 42K2, different plants. Sailors trying the inside passage here. As we head up. Bill tries to hold off the fleet. This comes over the beach side on port in the 5.9. Is that a Brit pop? Probably a Brit pop. It's like a Brit pop. Chris Sullivan sneaking up the middle, followed by Jess Atkins in the 5.6. Ian Vickers 9, V9, followed by 0 2, John Amale. Out of New York, the Mad Rabbit, his own design. Leading builders class category today. As we head up to the windward mark, Mark Allison on starboard shoving the whole fleet down. Michelle Roar sneaks up. Sneaks up to get there. Everybody parking, letting everybody else catch up. As the puffs come and go here, John Amale puffs up. Jerry Brower is hoping for some, some love to get around the mark. Jerry hits Mark, does a circle. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. For doing this, cannot, sir. I was trying that. As we head back downwind. This is a not so shaky cam day. A little copper pipe taped to my camera. Helps me relocate a little faster. As we watch the leaders head downwind. Looks like Jess Atkins in the Orange 56 V9. Squeaking into first place. Jersey, France, wherever the heck he's from. The one nine boat. Maybe a Brit pop. Not sure what he's sailing. K2. Looks like K2. Got the funny bump on the back. Followed by Chris Sullivan and the gray Brit pop, number 62, 62. Out of the Bay Area. Chris drove down in the WRX. If you're thinking of buying a WRX, an IOM does fit in a WRX. It's like fourth and fifth, Mark Gallison and uh, John Amale in the 02 boat, Mark Gallison in the 55, Baron Bremer in the gray 81, head to the inside mark, Jess Atkins, the solo sailor going to the outside. 
Let's see if that gets him ahead of Michelle. As we had backup wind for the first time in this A fleet race. Let's check back in on the leaders. Jess went to the inside, Michelle the inside, just still behind in second. Didn't quite pay off. He taxed to play follow the leader with Michelle. One of those sailing tenants, uh, stay in contact with your competition. But uh, this A Fleet race being brought to you by me because I'm a bad sailor. <laughs> so you get to see the good guys when I'm in the lower fleets. So we head up wind. Nothing to see here. Jess Atkins, Michelle Rohr, Chris Sullivan, uh, followed by John Amale, Mark Galson, Bill in the 59 boat, Darren Bremer in the 81. Uh, Dave Woodward in the 107. Jim Sears in the Sedici 13 1 3 boat. So we had backup win the second time. Six minutes and 43 seconds into this race. smokes folks there's a sailor going into the windward mark on starboard it's an amazing thing Jess Atkins trying to do things right he squeaks around on starboard and makes the pass on Michelle that last race the Sullivan or 62 next round John Amale in fourth place Mark Gallison in fifth Sailing its numbers, 55. Thank you, Bill. Port starboard, love back in the fleet. Belly turns being done here at our regional championship. No problem. Or do you have to sail this boat to me? Is that important? Battle for fourth is where the excitement's at. Mark Galson, John Amale. Words being exchanged by John. Mark doing his thing, just wearing him down. East Coast versus West Coast. Good versus evil. Dark versus light. who wins the battle or fourth back to the leaders Jess Atkins in first place mean to hang on Michelle Rohr slipping back a few boat links in the 1-9 boat followed by Chris Sullivan just knock knock knocking on their door waiting for a mistake he can capitalize Mark Gallison looks like he squeaks ahead of John Amale into fourth place. Mark on port, just on starboard. Got a mark in play. So head to the inside mark.
Mark Galson, fourth place. Watch Jim Sears, Baron Bremer line up to go around the mark here. Cordial sailing. Backup win. Mr. Atkins in the 5.6. Ian Vickers V9 out front. So lesson kids, you don't always need the latest greatest. You just need good sails, know how to tune them, know how to sail them. But Michelle Rohr is a competitor. He's gonna try to claw back on Jess as they tack on one of the many crazy headers here. Headers, not headers. Chris Sullivan holds his course, see if he makes any gains So we head up to the finish line. Mr. Atkins, first place, new Southern California transplant, moved from Northern California to Southern California, sailing at the pond, Michelle Rohr, 19. Chris Sullivan almost squeaks back for second, not quite, looks like Mr. Galson, the 5'5 five five boat, squeaks into fourth place. John Amale, back to fifth, but have a few sixth and seventh place competitors that might have something to say about that. Dave Woodward taking an inside passage might get a nice lift here to get him into fifth place. See if Dr. Jim can make a sprint to the finish. It's on starboard. He's holding his course. He's got some speed. He heads up. He shoots the line. Uh, and he gets it. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Jim. Every point counts here. Good race, Chris. Baron Bremer, 81 boat out of Florida. Made the travels out here with his wife. Traveling companion, helping out with a lot of the races. Mr. Brower, the 42 boat, heading in in the A fleet. So Jerry's figured something else out. And Jason Brooks in the 06. Or that was B fleet, I think. seconds, 15 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sweet. Sweet 6A, off and running. If you do it again, I'm going to start running. Yeah. Got Bill in the 59 boat out front, trying to cover the whole fleet. Jerry Brower in the 42. 42 K2, different plants. Sailors trying the inside passage here. As we head up, 
Bill tries to hold off the fleet. This comes over the beach side on port in the 5.9. Is that a Brit Pop? Probably Brit Pop. It's like a Brit Pop. Chris Sullivan sneaking up the middle, followed by Jess Atkins in the 5.6. Ian Vickers 9, V9, followed by 02, John Amale, out of New York, the Mad Rabbit, his own design. Leading builder's class category today. As we head up to the windward mark, Mark Gallison on starboard shoving the whole fleet down. Michelle Roar sneaks up. Sneaks up to get there. Everybody parking, letting everybody else catch up. As the puffs come and go here, John Amale puffs up. Jerry Brower is hoping for some, some love to get around the mark. Jerry hits mark, does a circle. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. For doing your piano, sir. I was trying to. As we head back downwind. This is a not so shaky cam day. A little copper pipe taped to my camera. Helps me relocate a little faster. As we watch the leaders head downwind. Looks like Jess Atkins in the Orange 56 V9. Squeaking into first place. Jersey, France, wherever the heck he's from. The one nine boat. Maybe a Brit pop. Not sure what he's sailing. K2. Looks like K2. Got the funny bump on the back. Followed by Chris Sullivan and the gray Brit pop, number 6262. Out of the Bay Area. Chris drove down in the WRX. If you're thinking of buying a WRX, an IOM does fit a WRX. It's like fourth and fifth. Mark Gallison and uh, John Amale in the 02 boat. Mark Gallison in the 55. Baron Bremer in the gray 81. Head to the inside mark. Jess Atkins, a solo sailor going to the outside. Let's see if that gets him ahead of Michelle. As we head back up wind for the first time in this A fleet race, let's check back in on the leaders. Jess went to the inside, Michelle the inside, Jess still behind in second. Didn't quite pay off. He taxed to play follow the leader with Michelle. One of those sailing tenants, uh, stay in contact with your competition. Uh, this A fleet race being brought to you by me because I'm a bad sailor. <laughs> so you get to see the good guys when I'm in the lower fleets. So we head up wind. Nothing to see here. Jess Atkins, Michelle Rohr, Chris Sullivan. Uh, Followed by John Amale, Mark Galson, Bill in the 59 boat, Aaron Bremer in the 81. Uh, Dave Woodward in the 107. 
Jim Sears in the Sedici 13-1-3 boat. So we had backup wind the second time. Six minutes and 43 seconds into this race. Holy smokes, folks. There's a sailor going into the windward mark on starboard. It's an amazing thing. Jess Atkins trying to do things right. So he squeaks around on starboard and makes the pass on Michelle. That last race. Chris Sullivan, or 62, next round. John Amale in fourth place. Mark Gollison in fifth. Sailing its numbers, 55. Hey, you all, Pro Dash 59. Hey, you all, Pro Dash 59. Thank you, Phil. Port starboard, love back in the fleet. Kelly turns being done here at our regional championship. Hey, you know. yeah, no problem. Or if you have to sail this close to me, is that important? Battle for fourth is where the excitement's at. Mark Galson, John Amale. Words being exchanged by John. Mark doing his thing, just wearing him down. East Coast versus West Coast. Good versus evil. Dark versus light. who wins the battle for fourth. Back to the leaders. Jess Atkins in first place. Man to hang on. Michelle Rohr slipping back a few boat links in the 1-9 boat. Followed by Chris Sullivan just knock, knock, knocking on their door, waiting for a mistake. He can capitalize. Mark Gawson looks like he squeaks ahead of John Amale into fourth place. Mark on port, just on starboard. Got a mark in play. So we head to the inside mark. Mark Galson, fourth place. Watch Jim Sears, Baron Bremer line up to go around the mark here. Cordial sailing. Backup win. Mr. Atkins in 5 6. Ian Vickers, V9. Out front. So, lesson kids, you don't always need the latest, greatest. You just need good sails, know how to tune them, know how to sail them. But Michelle Rohr is a competitor. He's going to try to claw back on Jess as they tack on one of the many crazy headers here. Headers, not headers. Chris Sullivan holds his course. See if he makes any gains. So we head up to the finish line.
as Mr. Atkins. First place, new Southern California transplant, moved from Northern California, Southern California, sailing at the pond, Michelle Rohr, 19. Chris Sullivan almost squeaks back for second. Not quite, looks like Mr. Gallison, the 5-5 boat, squeaks into fourth place. John Amale, back to fifth, but have a few sixth and seventh place competitors that might have something to say about that. Dave Woodward taking the inside passage might get a nice lift here to get him into fifth place. See if Dr. Jim can make a sprint to the finish. He's on starboard. He's holding his course. He's got some speed. He heads up. He shoots the line. Uh, and he gets it. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Jim. Every point counts here. Good race, Chris. Aaron Bremer, 81 boat out of Florida. Made the travels out here with his wife. Traveling companion, helping out with a lot of the races. Mr. Brower, 42 boat, heading in in the A fleet. So Jerry's figured something else out. And Jason Brooks in the 06. Or that was B fleet, I think. Ace fleet start on Saturday, February 17th. I think it is 6A. It's Chris Sullivan bump up, starts down the line. Gary Ball on the inside. Jess Atkins attacking early. As we head up wind, Caturta hurdles. Mr. Mackey has to tack for the shoreline using every inch of the pond. A little bit of a gamble, get a little extra angle. If you, if you run aground, you're in trouble. Stefan Cohen in the 2 8 boat. Oh, the wood would mark first. Don't tack too close to it because that offset set pretty high. And 3 1 Tony Gonzalez in the second place boat. 1 6 2 Jack Kingston via Ireland via San Diego to model sailing on the pond. Fourth place, uh, Jess Atkins, 56 boat. As the rest of the bunch is all together. As we head back downwind, Mr. 
Stefan Cohen is checking out. Uh, Tony Gonzalez hot on his heels. Thinking about it. It's the rest of the fleet. Anybody's game. Looks like a two man breakaway. We'll see if it sticks. Got the rest of the Peloton chasing them down. That's Craig Mackey and Dennis Rogers do the dance on the far shoreline. A fleet, every point counts, so the guys are always scrapping. Stefan Cohen, Winwood Mark first. Yep, I'm in position, Jimmy. The studio called me. Tony Gonzalez, 1 3 1, round second. Fleet splitting, avoiding, avoiding the contact. Looks like it split the fleet pretty well. Almost like a Lord Gate was designed to do. Here at the pond today. So we had backup win. That Jim Sears doing our analysis, manning the computers, wind velocity. Yeah. Boat headings. Yeah, Dan, there's a lot of there's some shifts out there and uh, some boats are getting them and uh, some boats aren't. Yep, some guys are fast, others are slow. Yeah. Making some good decisions, bad decisions, but but fast is fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes upwind like money, I hear. Indecision tack. Oh, okay. That's the three-man breakaway here with the rest of the peloton. Chasing them down. That's Stefan Cohen out front. Tony Gonzalez in third, Jack Kingston in second, and the 162, Brit Pop. Dennis Rogers, local kid from the east side of San Diego, <laughs> or the west side. I'm not sure what side Dennis is from, but he's from San Diego. The dark side. In the, 40, <laughs> in the 43 Brit Pop. The mean streets of San Diego. The mean streets of San Diego, yeah, that's right. All right, we're testing the capability of my Zoom here. I'm sure all the internet critics will tell me what I'm doing wrong immediately. Right, Larry? Exactly. Yep. Uh, Stefan Cohen hangs on to his lead. I cannot read sale numbers from here. Exactly. You know where the hand's been. It's like, you want to touch that with this? It's like Jack Kingston. I'm gonna move. All right, sorry folks. Trying some different angles, seeing if they're any better. Maybe worse as the A fleet rounds the windward mark and the offset for the second time. Stefan Cohen, turquoise pink, never let the 90s die, maybe 80s, I don't know, when was turquoise big? Uh, Brit Pop, the 2.8 boat is out front, followed by Craig Mackey and the 2.9 Brit Pop, mixing it up with the 1.62 Brit Pop, so it looks like we're 1.2.3 for the Brit Pop Nation, as we head back downwind. Uh, 
armchair analysis takes place from the other sailors looking on. There's a head down wind. Craig Mackey opting for the freeway, the far right side of the pond, risk reward. Guys like to go over there for some downwind speed. Stefan trying to cover the whole fleet from the middle. Let's we'll see if he does it. Had a good day yesterday, but only four races in yesterday. Hopefully we'll get some extras today. Uh, as we head down this tightly packed A fleet race. First, second, third, Dennis Rogers in the 4-3, Brit Pop. Brad Gibson has sponsored San Diego for this regatta. Got Jess Atkins in the V9, Tony Gonzalez in the yellow, I don't know, boat. And Stefan is in the middle, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Inside buoy. Cover the fleet. Craig Mackey going for the outside buoy. Let's see where they cross, see if Craig can gain some boat links on Stefan. As the rest of the fleet navigates our lured gates. Dennis Rogers in there. Gary Winton in the green 54 boat. Jess Atkins in 56, getting a big lift. All right, let's pay attention to Craig and Stefan. Craig looks like he might have been sailing off the wind a little bit, but who am I to say? I'm in D fleet. These A fleeters are good folks. Uh, Stefan just roaring up the middle. Craig sailed a little bit into the doldrums over against the beach. Coming off the beach. A little cooperative sailing, following the rules, giving him room to tack before he runs aground. Jess Atkins, 5'6 out there, Gary Witt in the 54, Des Rogers in the 4'3, still hanging on to fourth. Tony Gonzalez, 131, roaring up the middle in hot pursuit, Gary Bowl in the 71 orange boat. As we post up for the finish, Stefan on that beautiful port tack that gets you nowhere, tacks back to starboard, we'll sneak in for the finish. And the first place finish for Stefan in the 2 8 Miami Vice boat. <laughs> A little struggle nice race. We got Jack. I'm not from Texas, Kingston in the 162 boat. Craig Mackey. 162293. 131 4, Woo! We're on the right side. Nah, we were okay. We were good. Wow. Good job. 62. 62. All right, some A fleeters, top A fleeters, rifling five back five. to B fleet. Let's uh, get a review on the hot dogs. They're warm. I'm cold. Warm. Warm and cold hot dogs, and they're free. Okay, I'm easy. All right. There you go, five stars. Five stars for the hot doggos. <laughs> Don't laugh, Pat. <laughs> Don't laugh at my stupid stuff that comes out of my mouth because more stupid stuff will come out of my mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
And we're off. A rocky start. <clears throat> and we're off. Heading up wind, A fleet. Mr. Galson on the outside. Your bowl 71 orange boat tacking unison back on the port. And we head up to the wind with Mark for the first time. A little kerfluffle on the start line. Uh, John and Mark again. Seem to be joined today. There's some match racing. As we head up the windward mark, we've got the port tackers versus starboard tackers. Good and evil. Gary and Mr. Sears on port. It's like Miss Bowl first to the windward mark. Jim Sears looking for a hole and does not find it. It's like rifle to the back of the line. Didn't tack, didn't tack. Didn't touch the buoy, didn't tack, didn't touch. I didn't touch you. Well, that's because I avoided you. But I'm inside boat, I'm the same tack. All right, we head back downwind. How's the hot dog, Tony? Beautiful. Thank you for the hot dog review. Five stars. Gary Bowl, Cinderella story. Sun Valley, Idaho. Sun Valley, right? All right, Whew. it's a long course here, folks. As yeah, Gary Bull, the orange 71 boat, first place, first to the windward mark. Mark Gollison, the 55, looks like they might split the gates. Gary inside, Mark outside. Let's see who else takes bait. Looks like Jess Atkins on the outside, John Molly in the 02 boat on the inside. So we race back up win. So leaders navigate. It'd be interesting to see where Mark and Gary cross. Starboard 107, starboard. Mark getting lifted on the far shore. Gary lift finally catches up with Gary. Mark has to tack soon. Going across. Looks like he's going to be oh, right behind Gary by a little bit. So they both tack on the port. As we head back up wind.
I'm on the run, Tony. On the run. How's it going, Fred? So far, so good. <laughs> Cinderella story. Jim Sears with a borrowed boat and a dream in the A fleet. <laughs> Alright, the Pumpkin Twins at the beginning of the fleet, the orange 71 boat, hey, it's a lot of running, I know I needed to work out for this, and back to the leaders, back to the racing. I think Mark Galson might have came out on top. Look for Mark's new book coming out soon, How to Come In on Port, and make your competitors hate you for it. So we head around the wind with Mark. Mark gets there first. Gary gets a little super puff for second. Chris Atkins in third. Jim Sears. Found a hole that time. Nice job, Jim. As Jim squeaks his way into fourth place in the borrowed boat, the rent a ride. Seven, I'm clear ahead of you. Courtesy of the Fred Roca shipyards. As we head back downwind, everybody's still pretty tight. Anybody's ball game. All right. Back to the other end of the course. Gotta go learn how to run faster. But Mark Galson, the 55 boat, snuck ahead of Gary at the windward mark, kept kept it to the leeward mark. As they split the buoys again, but the opposite way this time. Gary went inside the last time. Mark is now on the inside. Gary's on the outside. These model sailors, I tell you, they are not predictable. So it worked for Mark last time. Let's see if it works for Gary this time. As we head back up wind to the finish line, I believe. Mark seems to be in good position, 55, controlling things. Mr. Bull attacks off the beach, the 71 boat, hoping for some speed and power, and there it is. Leans over, gets the crew on the rail, powers things up. They're planning the victory party, but the real story is the 1-3 boat, Jim Sears. Capistrano Beach, somewhere on the beach, borrowed boat, has a dream, first IOM event in third place. A little wind indicator up there. Gary and Mark still neck and neck. Both on starboard. Mark with a little more lift and angle. Gary sailing low and fast. So Mark heads through the line, hoping for the big lift, and he's getting it. 
He's getting it. The big lift is coming. As Mark goes for the world's longest ley line. Almost. Five five. Nice race, Mark. Thank you. Gary, not too bad too. Get over the line, Seven Gary. One. All right, Mr. Sears in the fastest Sedici on the water today. Coming in third place one, in the 1-3 boat. Six, two, protest. Yeah, you don't have to. Five, six. Oh, weather. Where do I go down now? Six, two. Chris Sullivan, one, six, two. Dave Woodward. One, two, John Amala in the O2. Zero two. Oh. There he is, Jason Brooks, A fleeter. Get him, Jason. Shoot the line. Get there. Yes. Zero six. Four, <laughs> eight, nice finish, Jason. A fleet race. I think I screwed up. Calling that last race B fleet, but it was A fleet. Wind picking up here. That pond. Fleet race. Yeah, oh, I know, but it's On the run. There she is, Jennifer Carlson, taking pictures. Head up wind, wind remark. All right. A lot of running involved. Michelle Rohr on the outside in the 1-9. Step on. we'll go you want. You want to go? Right, go. Stefan Cohen, 2-8. A little coordinated attack there between Stefan and Garrett Bull. 71 boat. Jim Sears, man on a mission. From D fleet to A fleet. A borrowed boat. Didn't even know if he was going to get here. Had to borrow bus money, bus fare to get here found himself the head of head of the fleet. Sorry, Craig. Holding on starboard. Holding on starboard. Holding on starboard. Holding on starboard. Ah, that was legal. Nice pack. I got a duck. I got You're a good. duck. You're good. Starboard. Starboard. Oh, come on, 19. 43 protest 19. Oh, you, you, you went down on me. me. You went down on me. Come on. Dude. I had to duck those boats. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't, I'm not, I'm not I had to duck the boats. You have to give me room. You have to give me room. All right. That's what an A fleet rounding looks like. So we head back downwind. Like Jim Sears, the magic Sedici. Second time sailing a boat for Jim. Scouring the internet for tuning guides last night. And uh, now he's back on the water. In front of a fleet. Jim Sears, Capistrano Beach, California.
hot on his tail. An orange 71 boat. Good bull. As we head down to Lured Gates, Jim Sears still holding his lead. Gary and Stefan trying to come up with an answer for Jim. Sedici Love. Where's the Sedici from? Spain? Or Italy? Let's say Italy. Jim Brown's first, Stefan second, Gary third. Let's watch how things play out as Jim goes the inside. Jess Atkins goes the inside. Jim Tax, Stefan Tax, Gary keeps going. Gary Tax now. Got Craig Mackey on the outside. Looks like the inside paid because paid for Stefan. Got ahead of Jim on that crossing. Gary in third. Craig Mackey, the wild card on the outside. Sailing that far shore all day long. That's the fine. Comes back up the middle. Trying to make things happen. As we head back up the beach. Sailing fast and loose. Jim Sears in the 13 boat. Looks like he's still in second place. We'll see where him and Gary Cross here. Jim's on starboard. They have to keep clear of Jim. Stephon in second. Jim in the 1-3 boat. Second. Gary Bull in the 7-1 boat. Third, Jess Atkins in the old V9. 56. And third. Hold on, what we reposition. Stefan, put some distance on Jim on that upwind leg, like a champ. So the windward mark first. It's like Jack Kingston just snuck up the middle. Jim Tax on to starboard. So does Jack for second place. Jim rifle back to third. Michelle Rohr found a hole on port. Followed by Gary Bowles, 71. Tony Gonzalez, 131. Dennis slam an attack at the mark. 4-3 boat, rip pop, heading back downwind. As we all round up, these guys are fast, they're making me run like a champ. It is, but I mean, it's different. On and the rubber boots make it fast. Miami Vice 28 boat out the front. Uh, like Jack Kingston and Walk 62 in second. Jim Sears, one three boat third. As we head down the windward marks, looks like Stefan's going to the inside. Jim 
and Sears, a little stall into the... Oh. As we head back up wind. Jim Sears and Gary Bowl on a freight train to catch Stefan. Stefan sails into a little bit of a lull. Jim Tax giving up some room. I expect him to tack pretty quickly. Sorry, thank you. That was a nice turn up. It was one scalloping lift. Yeah, I know. Right at the wrong point. On trying to hold off the competitors and we cover the whole fleet. Kind of like when the California CHP slows down the freeway. It's zigzagging around. This penalty is called. Let me run up to the finish line. <laughs> On in the two eight boat. Miami Vice in first. Jim Kingston in one six two second. Mark Gallison sneaking up in the five five and third one nine. You're right. Michelle Roar. to almost getting bumped. <laughs> yep, you have to sail all the legs, Jimmy. You can't just sail good the first two. Yeah, you're good. Outside, 41 boat. Jason Brooks, the 06 boat. The local guys here, San Diego area. Oh my, Nick Allen, in the 87 white boat. LA area. Driving down San Diego County for some racing this weekend. Pat and Evan, 53 boat, tax on the port. I think too early. Sailing a little low. Come up. Windward marks getting way out here today, folks. Sorry for the leisurely stroll up here. Longboard from New York and 7 0 boat on to starboard first. Lifting into the mark. Jason Brook crossing behind on port. It looks like he will make it to the windward mark. Second place. 
5.3 Pat Nevin, oh, A6, A7 net, Nick Allen sneaking inside, Jason in the 06, trying to get a good vantage point. A good shot of the back of Chris's head there. <laughs> As we head back downwind. First time downwind. All right, it's like Roy, Roy and Jason. Jason picked up a little extra speed on the outside. As we come into our lured marks. Let's see what they do. Split, they go the same. Jason with a big puff to the outside mark. Roy in the 7 0 boat going inside. Let's see where they cross. Back up wind. Nick Allen hanging on to third place in the 87 boat. Gill hits the mark. Let's do a turn. Fast turn. So we had backup wind. Jason looking good in the 06 boat. Tough shifts look like Roy's inside pays off. Screaming up the middle, 7 0 boat, tons of height. Jason's gonna have to work, get back. He's gonna attack at some point. It's going slow up there. It's Nick Allen exploits the middle in the 87 boat, so maybe Nick will be the benefactor of Jason's trip to the far shore. Got Steve Ross in the 31, Baron Bremer in the 81. So we head up to the windward marks. Heading up to the windward mark for the second time. Like Jason's trip to the outside paid off as he gets to the windward mark first. One more trip down. Gil Jansky, even after hitting the mark, getting that Psalm Tam a moving into second place. Roy Longboard. In uh, third place, Nick Allen's shuffled back to fourth. Pat Nevin in fifth. 
there uh, might have snuck up fifth or sixth maybe a little pass on that Chris Davidson 99 boat searching for answers on the pond today Bill Jansky, firm grip on second place. Sneaking up on Jason Brooks. Our last trip to Leward Marks. Jason, pretty good lead. I think Jason should go to the inside. Jason is eyeballing the outside. But hey, what do I know? I'm behind the camera sailing in D-Fleet. Jason, last minute decision, decides to go outside. Bill Jansky goes to the outside, Ron Longboard to the inside, Baron Bremer to the inside. Big puff of wind. Inside guys are going to have to tack quick as Jason and Gil make a run. Uh, Nick Allen, the 8-7 boat, pointing well, nipping on their heels. This is top four is really what you want, so don't run aground over there, Jason. As they come off, big tack, sailing off the wind a little bit. Braun in the 7-0 boat, Baron Bremer in the 8-1. Want that fourth bump up spot. Nick having to make an unfortunate extra tack over there. Baron was coming in on starboard. So we head up to the finish. I'm gonna let people run by. Chris 99 working the beach. Might be able to lay finish line from here where a lot of other people are going to attack. I think Chris is going to get some gains here if the wind holds up on him. Looks like Ron passed Jason. Gill back to third. Top four is all that matters. As Ron comes in first. Jason holds on to second, the 0 06. Gill never saw a penalty turn he didn't like. Jansky in third. And Baron in fourth. Eight seven. Sixteen protest. Five three. Yeah, I just lost. Nine nine. Four eight. Doesn't help when I'm trying to stay above the cut. Yeah. Yeah, but they hit me. Fleet. Uh, 
around everybody and put them in there. That is such an incredibly dangerous move that he oh, okay. pulled it off. That was just nasty. I watched he, he, he went a, he went the weather of the near mother. Yeah. And came down on top of it. fleet running up to the windward marks it's Stefan Cohen on the outside you're on the inside little boy with a dream Jim Shear the 13 boat right in the middle of them on starboard forces Michelle to tack away pays to be on starboard ooh Jim maybe, uh, maybe good Maybe could have went a little further. But everybody coming into the windward mark on port now. Their bowl first attack on a starboard. Squirting around. Jess Atkins slamming the door on John Amale. John lefts it up and finds a oh, hole. Hearing in the fleet. And as we run downwind, second time, the sun finally comes out here in sunny San Diego. Last hour of racing, maybe. As the A fleet stays pretty well bunched together. Post up on our post. Check in with our leaders. Gear Bull 71, Orange Brick Pop. Jess Atkins at 56. The orange boats are fast race once again. B9. See if they split these lured gates. It's a definite possibility. Gary goes inside, just goes outside. Gary, a little smoother, cleaner. Just paused a little as he went around, but just is pretty fast. Makes his own sails as Gary threads the needle through the downwind boats. Nice job, Gary. We got Jack Kingston and Craig Mackey trying to challenge the leaders. Just extends his lead up the far shoreline. Nobody wants to attack from that angle. As Jeff gets just gets lifted up the shoreline. Just gonna have to attack eventually. It's gonna hit. Maybe not. That was a big 
big right shift here. It's the way. Back to the windward mark. It's Jess and Gary play. Let's see, Gary, just driving around looking for wind. I try to get up to the windward mark here. It's conveniently been really pushed up here. Let me go a little further. As we come in, let's try this angle. It's like Jess Atkins avoiding the start line, heading to the windward mark, which is right there. Craig Mackey yeah, storming up. Craig Mackey rifles to the front of the pack, being accused of witchcraft from his fellow competitors. As Craig in the 2-9 boat goes into first, followed by Jess Atkins, 56 boat second, followed by Gary Bowl in third. The new paint job, fast orange boat. Jack Kingston, in the 162, followed by Jim Sears, a little boy with a dream and a borrowed boat, and the 1 3 Sedici. And downwind found his way into A Fleet. Jim's first IOM event, doing well. Very accomplished sailor. It's only a matter of time, and it took Jim one day to get into A Fleet. So thanks for demoralizing me, Jim. Uh, but good job sailing. Let's relocate. Boys out are flying, almost found a reach. Big shift, big shift. Let's see who picks up on that. The leaders definitely have. Jess Atkins in the 56 boat. One up the middle, Greg Mackey and the 2 9 on the outside. Gary Bull. Gary, what happened to you? I think Gary stopped to make a sandwich, letting those guys run away with first and second, but anything can happen here at the pond. Let's take a look at this mark rounding. Looks like it's going to be exciting. Between a little boy with a dream. Jimmy Shears, as he rounds it, followed by Michelle Rohr, Miami voice boat of Stephen Cullen, quick rounding and attack to get the heck out of Dodge on starboard, heading right at people. Wow. I guess, sorry, got excited watching, didn't keep it in frame, but Stefan just did a great move there. Jim Sears working the inside, doing well. As we're heading up, 
as Jess, Gary, and Stefan, or no, no, Jess, Gary, and uh, Craig, Mackie, have checked out. You came out of nowhere. You came out of nowhere. Where are they left these this time? All right. Jess Atkins in first. Craig Mackey in second. Where's your race committee? Gear Bull in third. Good sailing. Race committee should be neither seen nor heard. We just do their job. Gary. Finally meanders his way across the finish line after a few chit chats. Stefan Cohen, the rocket ship, Miami Vice, has uh, snuck his way into fourth. Two eight. Michelle in fifth. One nine. Jim. One three. One six two. Seven nice zero. Nice job, Jim. You <laughs> <laughs> just fit me right out the back. <laughs> zero two. Keep go in there, Gil. Sixty two protest four one. Windward Lures. Recall 4 1, recall 6 2. 4 1, clear. 6 2, clear. As we head off, B Fleet race. You, know, you can't persist in a situation like that. You knew what, you saw that coming. As we head up wind. There's Time Life photographer on scene. <laughs> Jennifer Galson, always doing some awesome pictures for everybody. Taking pictures of her hubby beating us up. As we head up wind. And I'm out of wind. Breaking wind. As we got Baron Bremer in the 81 boat way on the outside. A little bit of drama on the start. Barging called. The guys stick their nose in where they can't really get. Tony Gonzalez. First of the windward mark. Has to do a little do -si do around. Dennis Rogers coming in on port has a little bit of a hole. Has to keep clear. Who's that? Ducking down to get me. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Headed right down. I've got inside overlap. All right, Gil, now's your time to shine. You got <laughs> no. the 
Here we go again. You got the shenanigans out of the way. <laughs> Here's my sign. Yep. Start I'm racing. Now you can start racing. There's a little Jimmy Shears. Hopefully, he brought his checkbook for a new Sudichi. Maybe, huh? <laughs> See if I can pass these guys. Can't pass them on the water. I can pass them on land. As everybody's definitely very close. As Tony Gonzalez in the yellow 131 boat, his first to the windward mark. Dennis Rogers in the mix again, ran away with the race before this to bump up here. That's definitely a fleet caliber guy. When him and his brother are racing, Sorry, it's I just, you know, really I don't, tough. I don't like to be the guy yelling at the starting line about that. Just defend my windward. Yeah, as Tony makes it first, got Gary Winton on the outside in the V11. That's Rogers, third. Mark Gallison in the 55, so we got Team Green V11. Representing both coasts, one from Florida, one from Long Beach, California. Versus Tony Gonzalez, Barbados via Florida, via who knows where he was last week. The 131 boat, yellow boat coming up the middle. Dennis Rogers, our local hero, piloting his white rip pop through the choppy waters, Molly Yacht Pond. Uh-oh, look out over there. There he is, Sneaky Mark Gallison, as they call him. He just ever so sneakily sneaks up the shore. <laughs> this sail is straight, finally tacks away before he hits uh, um, Bill, Bill Punishment Point over there, where Bill's ran aground twice this weekend. Looks like Gary Winton has capitalized, going to the outside with his V11 teammate. Sneak ahead of Tony Gonzalez in the 131. It's top four. These guys are trying to get into A Fleet. A lot of guys spent a lot of time in A Fleet. And now they're in B Fleet, trying to get back to A. Gary and Mark. Heading up wind. Baron Bremer in the 81. A little twitchy up the inside. Mark Gallison in the 55 boat. Moving right along. Mark working the angles. Oh my gosh, boats coming in on starboard? What is the pond coming to? Three boats on starboard all at the same time. Gonna give Baron room. Everybody on starboard. Playing nice. Top four. What you want to be in this race, B Fleet, get up to A Fleet. As Gary Winton stalls all the boats in front of him, eating some dirty air, slowing him down. Baron Bremer in the 81 takes advantage, squirts out front. 
Team Green V11, 55 in the 54 boat. Big Puff trying to get around Baron. Baron darts off to the left. Tony Gonzalez on the freeway is open. Let's see if it pays. Going hard to the right on the outside. Looks like five boats battling for four spots. Who's it gonna be? Let's move uh, keep downwind, catch some action. All right, back to my other spot. Looks like Gary Winton still out front. Tony Gonzalez, Team Florida, teamed up. Going for the first and second spots. That's Rogers, Baron Bremer down the inside. Trying to ruin Mark Galson's dream of a fleet race. We'll see, those top five guys. Pretty clustered together. Let's see how it pays off. The rest, one, two, three, four, five, six boats all together. So we've got a pack of five and a pack of six. Top four move up to A Fleet, get the last race of the day. Gary Winton, 54 boat, makes his way around. Oh, his Dennis just stalls. Tony Gonzalez goes. Gary Winton back into the Backwind, downwind boats. Trying to safely get through. Luckily, everybody's going slow. Here he's going to pick pick his way through cleanly. Got one more to avoid. Oh no! Chris does the dosy do on him. He makes it through. As Tony Gonzalez squirts up to the front, Mark Galson says no to fifth place as he shoots up. Outside, Tony's going to fall in line with the four pack. Baron Bremer going a little slow on the other side. Dennis going a little slow here. Tony and Gary Tack, Mark follows suit. As we head back up wind, Gallison's in third. The 5 5 boat, Baron Bremer. Dennis Rogers going to fight it out for that fourth spot. Looks like Dennis crossed ahead of Baron. Baron's going to try to chase him down, wear him down, put the pressure on him. All right. Looks like Dennis might have an answer for it. Into the finish. Okay, well you got to you got to make the call. Yeah, I will. Let's, let me make this call. First. We're at the finish. <laughs> As predicted, sneaky. Mr. Mark Galson at first. Five five. Followed by Gary Winton is the 11 teammate. One, three, one. Tony Gonzalez is 131 in third. Looks like Dennis has got the momentum. Four, three. Get the bump up spot. Nice job, Dennis. Baron Bremer in fifth. Eight, one. As Dennis sends Baron home to cry tonight about fifth. Sorry, Baron. 
And for the pack of six, let's see who's first in the back. Oh, there's Gil Jansky, who was dead last at one point. It's not my call. Zero two. Seven zero. Six two four one. One zero seven. 